Okay, so once is everything has been installed, you can come here, click on all plugins and click on update. So now you can find the MM color target under M, MM color target, or you can use obviously the tab and type MM color target and that's it. There we go. So let me explain to you how to use it. First of all, I'm going to read, um, I have a folder called demo here. So first of all, I use it for neutral grading. So let me read this guy here. Okay. So we can make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So, um, if we check this image, um, this image is a plate um for a work that i did um a few days ago and uh well basically we have different things here but the most important things are the lighting checkers and as you can see um i have like the math the macbeth chart for color grading purposes and then i have my gray sphere and my chrome sphere for um, lighting purposes okay so um with the Macbeth chart, I can neutral grade this image. Um, I can use it in different ways. Um, you can neutral grade your images in different software, but with this MM color target, it's very simple to do it here in, in, in Nuke. So if you want to neutral grade this image, you need to connect your source pipe to your image. Then, I'm going to look through this MM color target. So we don't have a target here. We only have source because we want to neutral grade this image. So we need to click on use reference values as target. And then we want to disable this target here. Because if we go to the bottom here in the corner, we have like eight different points. That's because we have four points for the source and four points for the target. So clicking on this arrow, boom, we can enable or disable the target uh, source. I mean the target image. And we are working only with source. So then uh, we can just take these points and move them around, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to move these guys to the corners of my Macbeth chart. Okay, that's it. So we can adjust this a little bit better. And finally, we can also increase the sample size, something like 50. Yeah. So the last step in this case is just clicking on calculate matrix. Boom. And we have here a matrix node, which is pretty much grading the image. So as you can see, this was the image before, and this is the image now. It has been neutral rated, and it looks correct now. So this is pretty cool if you are um, calibrating your image-based lighting HDR maps, or if you are um, calibrating textual references. This is a must. So having this tool is it saves a lot of time. Okay, so this is the first thing, neutral grading images. But you can use it for another um, for another purpose. Let me open again this folder here. Um, demo, and then I'm gonna use match grading. Okay, so let's say we already have um, we have two images here, which are exactly the same, but both of them have different graders, grading. So let's say you want to match one uh, grading with the other one, so both images look the same. So what you have to do is connect one of them to the source one of them to the target. And this is a little bit weird 
because uh, actually it's the other way around. So if you want to match uh, this image to be like this, you need to do it like the other way around. Like target would be um, this guy, source would be this guy here. And now um, you need to activate target again. And um, let me position this. So I'm gonna take um, in here, if you do if you do like double click on the MM color target gizmo, you can uh, switch here between the uh, source and the target. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start with the source. I'm going to move these guys here. Um. Yeah, I think it's fine. I can make them a little bit smaller if you want. I mean, this is really up to you, but I think it's fine. I mean, I don't want this guy to be, you know, here around the shadow. So I think something like that is fine. And then if you look through the target, the target is here. So we need to move it again up there but we can just copy the values. So I'm gonna use the same size and then I'm going to copy these guys quickly. You can link the parameters if you want, but I'm lazy, so let me copy these guys. Okay, so they are now exactly in the same position. So I can switch between source and target. And if I go to compare, we can see the difference between the original value, which is here in the background, and this small square, which is the other image. So you can see the difference between them. So um, now we need to disable this guy and click on Calculate Matrix. I think I didn't do it. Yeah, that's it. So now if we check this, image here and this image here, they look exactly the same. I'm switching between uh, both of them and doing AV and yeah, they look exactly the same. So this is pretty cool if you need to match one of the existing grades, that's cool. Um, so obviously now I can connect a write node here or whatever I need to connect and um, yeah, continue my compositing here or just write these images out for Mari for texturing purposes or whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, that's it. So this is a great tool. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So now if you go to compare, both of them look the same. There are no differences. Um, if you add a color correct here, for example, and you play, sorry, not there, but um, Yeah, like that. If you play with any of these, you can see the differences. So this is pretty cool because you can also, if the grading is not perfect, you can just add some grade here or color correct or whatever. You can play uh, with the values here to make the grading a little bit better. But in this case, um, it just works very, very well. Between this and this, there are no differences. So this is it. Um, this is this tool. Um, it's pretty useful. I really, I strongly recommend you to use it. I use it every day for texturing and uh, look the purposes. So yeah, give it a try and let me know if you like it or not. See you later. Bye.